Hey, what's up? It's me, Jessica J, and I was just wondering if you've ever sat and thought to yourself, uh, Jessica, what are some things that women do when they secretly like you? Well, if so, I'm glad you asked, because as you know, I've done variations on this video of when we like you, when we don't like you, when we're coworkers and we like you. But this is particularly catered to the girls that secretly like you when they aren't supposed to like you, and they really don't even want you to know that we like you. So to make sure you never miss out on another opportunity to find out these little nuances that that we women are giving off because we're too much of a coward to show you how we really care about you. For another one of my videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button with that notification bell. Okay, so here's a caveat as usual. I want you to stay till the very end because I'm gonna explain to you why it doesn't fucking matter if she likes you because sometimes it could be a bad thing. And of course, what you can do to alleviate all the bad things that women bring to your life and I apologize that we do that sometimes. Okay, so the first strange thing we do when we secretly like you is talk shit about other girls. If we're not supposed to like you or we don't want you to know that we like you but we can't help but like you we're gonna hope you don't think other girls are better than us so yeah we'll talk shit about the girl that you think is pretty or the girl you have a crush on or the girls you've been dating just in general we'll talk shit about girls because we want you to know that girls suck but this girl will suck you off the second secret sign is that we talk about you to other people maybe she doesn't talk to you at all maybe she looks like she fucking hates you but you are hearing around the way that she mentions your name. Again, when we secretly like you, these are feelings that we cannot keep inside, no matter how hard we try. So fine, we may not do anything about it to you or show you, but we will let it out when other people are around. Because it is in thinking about you, talking about you, bringing you into the now that we are able to validate those emotions. Even if it is to other people and not to you. And I should have rearranged these more, but the third one is she talks shit about men to you. So this is kind of piggybacking off number one where she talks shit about women. Now she's talking shit about men because she wants you to know that the men she's interacting with fucking suck and she doesn't want them romantically and maybe hopefully you'll see that you're my romantic interest and maybe you'll come on to me. What we're doing for you is we're eliminating the competition for you. We're telling you hey look all these guys suck. If you think you don't suck come over here into my life. Again we women are very aware that y'all have an uphill battle sometimes with us. You guys gotta put in all the work. You guys gotta take the lead. You you have to ask us out. You got to whip it out. So fine. We will try to make things easier for you by telling you how much all the other guys aren't getting into pound town with us. And maybe that will inspire you to take us into pound town with you. I don't know. Maybe. The fifth one I talk about in several videos, especially in videos about she likes you, how to test if she likes you, is she yawns when you yawn. Again, if she is fighting showing her feelings for you, if she is loving you from afar in secret, the one thing she can't fucking help but do is to yawn when you yawn. Fuck, see, every time. Here's the thing about yawning. It is very contagious. However, it is only contagious when we see a person doing it or take note of that person doing it. So for instance, I talk about this in this video, how to test if a girl likes you or is checking you out. If you're out and about in a Starbucks and you think that girl over there is really cute, I wonder if that girl over there thinks I'm really cute. If you yawn and that bitch yawns too, guess what? She's been checking you out. However, if you yawn and she doesn't yawn, she doesn't see you. She doesn't care about you. Which then brings me to number Number six, which is she hovers around you, but doesn't necessarily talk to you. Again, this goes back to, I don't want him to know that I like him. Oh my God, this would be so bad if he knew. However, our bodies subconsciously always want to enact what's going on inside us. It's why when we lie, sometimes we have a tell. It's why we can burst into tears listening to a sad song that comes on in the CVS, even though throughout the day, we seem like we're keeping it together. Because our bodies want to express what's going on in here, one way or another. So she will hover around you again, back to the talking about you to other people and not to you. She may not be talking to you, but she is always around. Because like, we just want to like be around you and shit because we like you and shit, even though we can't show that we like you and shit. Which then brings me to number seven, which is she's actually mean to you. Okay, I talked about this in the very first video I ever did on signs a girl likes you. It's again, this idea of her needing to express feelings for you. However, when we suppress feelings, we either get sick or neurotic or psychotic. So people, will try to overcompensate by showing the exact opposite of the emotion they feel. To try to show that they are not feeling the original feeling. You feel me? So she might be a complete asshole to you. She might talk shit about what you look like. Talk shit about the girls you're dating or seeing. Straight up tell you she fucking hates you. I remember in college I had a crush on my boyfriend's twin brother and I was such 
don't you fucking prick to him? And then I would go home at night and cry because I was so in love with him. <sighs> I used to talk about how he was so ugly. He was the ugly twin. How all the girls he fucked were super ugly. How stupid he was. How unnecessary he was. God, I was really fucking mean to him. But yes, that idea of trying to overcompensate for the original feeling or to over uh, hide. To really fucking hide that feeling. Like, look, I can't possibly like him. I hate him. <laughs> People will never know. But I'll tell you right now, her liking you can sometimes be a bad thing. Because when we like you, what we do is we have this now fantasy of you, especially if you've never made a move. We have this idea that things are going to be really fucking hunky-dory and butterflies and passion and crazy sex the second you cross that threshold. And then you try to do it. You try to ask her out. You let her know she looks pretty. And then all of a sudden, she stops fucking talking to you. I can't tell you how many clients come to me saying things like, well, I know these girls liked me and then I like tried to ask them out and then like they blocked me. Because what you're doing is you are now taking these super strong feelings she has of you and you are showing her the reality of who you are, which is somebody who is really not capable of living up to all those emotions she built up in herself. So what do you do about that? You got to create that intense connection. You got to make her feel that much better about you. And you have to really live up to this passion she had inside you by speaking to spark arousal. You have to entice that arousal. You have to manipulate her emotions to your advantage in a way where she does see you as the leader of her fantasy. Too many guys come in trying to be like, oh, okay, I guess you, I, I think you like me. Do you want to like get like coffee? Like what? What a fuck a weirdo. Why did I like him? I can't tell you how many guys in my life I've had crushes on. And then they like try to like make that move. And I'm like, Ugh. yeah, I'm glad I don't have a crush on him anymore. I'm glad he showed me that he's really not all that. Stop losing out on these women because you don't know how to cross that barrier. I'm telling you, it's really as simple as making these connections, making her laugh and making her feel super wanted and showing her that you have no problem moving things forward. And if you know that you're not moving things forward successfully when we women are giving you the puss as a present, don't forget to check out the three steps on doing so at speechsparkarazzle.com. So be on the lookout for these sad signs Make sure you have what it takes to move things forward once you do get the green light to go. Thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you guys next time.